What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. We've had a pretty extreme couple days of weather here in Ontario, Canada. We had a pretty big ice storm followed by a significant amount of snow. It's around minus 20 Celsius outside right now. Uh, just getting everything dug out and I wanted to make a video just to see in case of emergency how long I could run my gas furnace on battery backup. I want to do this with the 6000 XP and the indoor wall mount battery but I thought first we would take a look at it using the Blue Eddy AC200L and the B300 k expansion battery this setup gives me almost five kilowatt hours of total capacity so i should be able to run the furnace for a pretty significant amount of time on this setup if i were in an emergency if the power were to go out today and i had to uh, use battery backup for everything i would be pretty much solely focused on the heat honestly i wouldn't care too much about fridge and freezer i could find a way to keep food cold pretty easily in this weather but my main priority would be the heat so i'm going to get this thing hooked up to the furnace i'm going to show you how i do that one little trick you need to do to get your furnace to run on a portable power station and then we'll get it fired up and just see how long this thing will run. Okay, so I've got the AC200L down here with the expansion battery. This is a 60,000 BTU furnace with a half horsepower blower motor, if you're wondering for comparison. Basically, I have this little cord here. This allows me to unplug this incoming power from the house and plug in this DIY cord that uh, ties into the main electrical box here. So it is grounded to the house ground while receiving power from the Blue Eddy. Basically takes care of the floating neutral, no ground situation, and it keeps the circuit board happy so it doesn't throw any codes. If you did have a code, it would show up down here on this little seven segment display. Not every furnace has one of these, but generally you'll have like a status LED or something similar to let you know if there's a problem. If you do have an issue, it will almost always say reverse polarity or poor ground. That'll let you know you've done something wrong when you hooked it up to your power station and you have to get that sorted or it will not run. So that's what it looks like all hooked up. As you can see, I've disconnected the incoming power. I have my little homemade cord here hooked up to the circuit board and to the furnace's main ground at the electrical junction. I have it running through an extension cord which exits through the filter rack and we are plugged in to the AC200L. So I've got it powered up. Everything looks happy on the circuit board. We don't have any error codes as you can see down here. It just shows a zero. That means the furnace is idle. Sometimes you will have a slow flash on your LED indicating there's nothing happening with the furnace. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. We'll let this thing come up to speed. It's about quarter after two in the afternoon right now. So we're going to officially start the test and uh, see how long we can run this thing for. Okay, so down on the board we have a lowercase h indicating we are calling for heat and it's in first stage. This furnace does not often go into second stage. Up here at the burners you can see we do have some nice blue flame. And over here on the AC200L we are pulling just over 300 watts, which is pretty good. Like I said, this is a newer, more efficient furnace, so 300 watts is pretty good. And at that rate, this should last us 12.6 hours. Now that's if the furnace were to run continuously. It's not going to do that, obviously. It's going to cycle on and off. but uh, uh, with it being about minus 20 tonight, it should be a pretty good workout. I'm pretty confident we'll get all the way through the night and into tomorrow, but we'll let it run and I'll keep you posted periodically. All right, guys, we're eight hours into the test. It's 1021 p.m., sitting at seven degrees outside, getting pretty cold. The furnace is starting to run a little bit more often than it was this afternoon. Down here in the basement, we're sitting at 78%, so it's actually doing really well. We're on pace to make it at least 24 hours, depending on how cold it gets tonight and how often the furnace has to cycle, but so far, everything is looking pretty good. Morning guys, that was a very cold night. We are currently sitting at minus one degrees Fahrenheit. Everything in the house is nice and warm, still sitting at 69 degrees. Furnace worked perfectly all night long. Down here on the AC200L, we are sitting at 38%. So we used a little bit more power than I expected, but it was very cold. The furnace had to cycle quite a bit last night. Definitely on pace to make it more than 24 hours. So we'll see how today goes and I'll update you once this thing is just about dead. Okay guys, it is 9.15 p.m. We're officially at the 31 hour mark and I'm gonna call it quits right there. We still have 7% remaining, but the AC200L reserves the bottom 5% just to avoid over discharging the battery. So it would die in the next half hour to 40 minutes, giving us about 32 hours of total runtime. I'll scroll through the app here and you can take a look at each run cycle and the overall state of charge as it slowly depletes. Very good app on this thing. I would highly recommend any of you that live in a cold climate have something similar to 
this at least two to four kilowatts of backup power that you can hook up to your furnace even a generator if uh, if that's the way you want to go but you don't want to leave yourself high and dry in the case of a power outage this thing would uh, definitely get you by long enough i could have put this out in the yard with some more solar panels during the day got it charged up but on battery alone 32 hours of total runtime is extremely good and just nice to have in the back pocket just in case something ever happened well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm going to try to be posting a little more often. Life is just super busy for me around here at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I might try on the 6000 XP next. I think I could probably get around 72, maybe up to 80 hours of furnace backup on this big battery down here. So I might give that a try. Honestly, you could go even longer if you weren't keeping the house around 70 degrees. If it was an actual long-term power outage, you know, you could kick it back to 60 degrees probably get you uh, a significant amount more runtime just with that alone so i'll put the links to the ac200l and the expansion battery all that stuff below hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time